Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. A former presidential aide to the former president, good luck, Jonathan, and publisher of Point Blank News, Mr. Jackson Ude, has observed that the brightest, most intelligent, and the most formidable of President Bola Metinubu's camp have been silenced by the normality of the revelations from the Chicago State University, where Tinubu claimed he graduated from. Mr. Oden made the, these remarks in a short memo posted on his ex formerly Twitter handle, Jackson, Jackson PBN, on Thursday, entitled Bola Tinubu's Camp on Silence. The former presidential aide counted Nasa Erofari, Tunde Fashola, Kayode Fayomi, Femi Fani Kayode, Dimi Dichi, Bankule, Dambazua, and others among those are hit by the revelations. He wrote, Have you noticed that the brightest, the most intelligent, and the most formidable of Bart's generals have kept quiet on this Chicago State University issue, and their silence speaks volumes. They include Nasa Erofai, Tunde Fashola, Kasim Ima, Kayode Fayami, Femi Fani Kayode, Isa Patami, Dimiji Bankule, Adurahman Dambazwa, Baish Lamado San, Mohammed Hassan, Obiadu, Faloke, and so many more. They could not defend the indefensible. We donated that only the uninformed low lives, tricks, and on chains in tunable steam that are still talking. He added, it is only the low lives, the tricks, and on chains in the team, and his ministers that are talking. All the top guys, including key members of his party, are ashamed of him and have decided to put Nigeria first. Respecting forgery and other vices, retired Justice Sadi Dauda Bagi of the Supreme Court once wrote that the Appeals Court must not allow criminality and certificate forgery to line the corridors of the judiciary system. Justice Dauda Bagi in the case of Sae versus Haber and ORS 2017 LPE LR 419 SE in bracket PP 2631 phrase B, e, B he said this court must take the lead in, in writing the wrongs in our society, if and when the opportunity presents itself, as in this appeal, allowing criminality and certificate forgery to continue to pre-collect into the streams, waters, and oceans of our national polity would only mean our waters are and we remain dangerously contaminated. The proliferation effort must start now and be sustained as we seek as a nation to now change from our old culture of reckless, recklessness, impunity. The Nigerian constitution is supreme. It desires that no one who had even presented forged certificates to INEC should contest election into Nigerian assembly. This is clear. More compelling as a judiciary determination had been taken by no less a, a technical panel sitting in at least a panel of these of three judges as election tribunal with constitutional mandate to determine such issues as they relate to elections and its outcomes, including eligibility. This has also been affirmed by the trial court in this appeal on these issues. Our duty is to apply the constitution and the law. 
in his start, original form undiluted by colorated interpretations. Faisos Kayamo San, taking to this then in Twitter handle, once said that if anyone presents a forged um, YEC or other certificates to INEC for any reason, that one would be disqualified. He posted with a hashtag, Oshun State Scenario, on April 15, 2019, on Twitter. By the definition of school certificates, on its equivalent in Section 318, and of the 1999 Constitution, you don't need a YEC certificate to become president or governor, but if you present a forged YEC or other certificates to INEC for any office, you will be disqualified. A lawyer, seasoned political activist and author, Mr. Dele Faratimi, who prides himself is being passionate about the birth of a new and better Nigeria, However, express zero confidence on the Chief Judge of Nigeria, the CJN, Justice Ulukayode Ariwala, to deliver justice. Speaking on Arise TV, he said, I repeat, I have zero trust in the capacity of the CJN to deliver justice. Adding, it is up to the, it is up to the judiciary to decide whether it wishes to do justice. This is about building a society based on morality, equity, justice, and even law. So you see, <laughs> you see this issue of present Bola, I, mean, I don't even know what to say again because the matter is is getting more, you know, interesting every day. If we know all these things, so what's next? So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.